Welcome all the A long time waiting for this game to come out. I did a review of it uh, actually last year, a uh, trailer, but just last month this was released, the new God of War game. Uh, I did actually get a chance to play it now. I got It got released about a month ago, but I didn't get to play it until over the Christmas holidays. Guys, I know you guys ask me these things. Have I played this game? Have I seen this TV show? Man, some of you guys send me like, a two-hour podcast like uh, you really need to watch this man I really wish I could I just do not have the time um, to even eat properly these days um, but I did get a chance to play a short version of this game so I'm going to speak about it and my review of it and and just some interesting thoughts on the mythology but more importantly though a TV show as if we don't have enough TV shows and movies coming out these days to slander our ancestors and native culture of Northern Europe. Now, if it was just Netflix releasing a God of War TV show, I would have absolutely no hope. I would be uh, no hope for that. But since Amazon Prime is actually making this one, there's a small chance that it might be okay. So we're getting into a couple articles here with news about the TV show that's going to come out in the future, and then I will uh, share my thoughts and predictions and speak about my review of the game after. Okay, so we have one here. Wheel of Time, Roadrunner, Jeff Jenkins and Expanse uh, are adapting the award-winning PlayStation game. So those are kind of like those uh, TV shows there are kind of like sci-fi action adventure producers, those uh, producers there. Um, I haven't seen their shows, but it got pretty high reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, so whatever you think that is worth. Uh, so what I was interested in, and it doesn't look like they're going to talk about it in this article, I would be curious to see if they were gonna start the like start the series in ancient Greece, where the first God of War games uh, took place, um, and then over a few seasons they would transition into the Norse world, um, just like the game did. Or are they just going to jump right in on the Viking craze right now and start filming and make it Norse themed right from uh, season one? Um, guys, take it from me. This is all going to pass, okay? From someone who's old enough and someone who has been obsessed with everything Norse since I first learned how to read, I've seen the change I've seen the change in times. I've seen the change in people and their different interests. Um, when I was in school, um, it was when the first uh, uh, Greek themed God of War came out that was in the mid 2000s. Um, everyone loved ancient Greece at this time. Nobody gave a shit about anything Norse. Even even in Norway, and I was living there, people were making fun of me for, for being such a Viking nerd, um, as opposed to, like, the Greek or Roman mythology. Everybody thought the Viking stuff was lame. Fast forward five or ten years, then Vikings TV show came out, and everyone's all of a sudden obsessed with Vikings and has to show off their 4% Viking <laughs> DNA test, you know? But if we go back even further, if we go back to 20 years ago, it was all Celtic. It was, you know, the Celtic. It was the Braveheart. Everybody was proud to be Irish. Everyone was listening to Flogging Molly. Their favorite movie was Gangs of New York. Man, right now we are in the peak of the Viking craze. This is just a fad. People are going to get over it. People are going to be interested in whatever the mainstream media wants you to be interested in. Maybe in another 10 years or so, 20 years, it's going to be in the Slavic or Roman fad. Uh, so, but there are a few of us, most of you watching here, I hope, who are going to stick to the uh, Viking, uh, <laughs> Viking uh, interest like we are all in right now. Um, but yeah, I think the producers would be smart to capitalize straight on this Viking fad and go straight into the Norse version of God of War from Season 1. Okay, so let's look at another article. Okay, it says here, based on a hypnosis, it sounds as if the show will follow a similar story as Sony's excellent God of War reboot from 2018. Okay, and that was the game that first entered the Norse realm. So, yeah, here it says the director of the 2018 video game made a cryptic tweet. It says he's looking forward and good things to come, but it's going to be a while before we see anything more. Yeah, I mean, this is a brand new story. Um, 
It says here Amazon itself just made the announcement uh, that they had bought uh, the rights to uh, create this series. And there's no cast or any info about it yet. So these things take a long time. I say the earliest is going to be like 2024 that this series is going to be out for viewing. Let's check one more article if there's any more information. Okay, so this one seems to be the original source. Uh, here it seems as though the show is already written, like script and plot is, is already uh, decided. And it is in fact going to be based off of Kratos uh, when his wife dies and he goes from ancient Greece into the Norse world. Okay, so it definitely seems like the series will focus on the Norse and maybe have their first couple of, maybe couple of episodes um, filmed in the ancient Greek world. But at that time, Kratos has already killed all the Greek gods, and the Norse ones are coming uh, next um, in the storyline. Okay, so that's these are the kinds of things that worry me. Um, when we're getting into the realm of mythology and the gods, yeah. So we, when we're speaking about real history, even TV shows and movies find some way to make a mockery of our culture with historical inaccuracies that are clearly just there to provoke us <laughs> with the ancestry and the interest in these things. They do this about real history and humans that existed. So when they actually get into the territory of mythology and gods, there's even more room for interpretation and just creating wild fantasy that has no basis in the historical sources or reality or culture of the time. It's outright offensive. Imagine if they did this with any other religion, such as Islam. It wouldn't go over very well, but for some reason they feel it's okay to do it to us, following the Norse religion, and we're just supposed to accept it, and um, uh, over and over, every single year, a new movie or series comes out misrepresenting our religious beliefs. I'm not one to get offended by these type of things, actually, it doesn't affect my life. All I'm saying is that it would be smart and just good business for these, you know, film studios to at least try to portray some sort of accurate representation of our history, culture, and beliefs. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. But it, it, it should just to do good in the world and um, and uh, just uh, for good business to earn loyal uh, customers. So we will see. So now, we'll speak about the game. I didn't play the whole thing, but I did play uh, a little bit of it. Uh, a typical God of War game, lots of kind of like puzzles to solve, some fighting, very cool combat, and those types of things. It just takes way too long, guys. I don't, uh, I don't have the time to finish these games. I, I know some of you want me to get through the whole thing, but it's not going to happen. But a few things that I did see, uh, Loki in the game seems to be Kratos' son. Uh, shape-shifting. Yeah, but one thing I did like is that uh, Loki and Angerboda actually did bang and create some kids in Norse mythology and in the game here they seem to clearly have a little puppy love romance going on. Uh, the problem is that they had three children together in the real mythology and these three children in the game were already existing. That's Fenrir, Jörmungandr and Hel. So, and these are just children at the moment right now, so I don't think two kids banged and made babies at about 10 years old as they appear to be in this game. Again, I did a video on this last year, Thor is fat. <laughs> I do like uh, his hammer, uh, Mjölnir though. It looks like a lot of the archaeological finds, not some crazy fantasy inspired uh, Mjölnir, so I did like that about the game. Odin in the game I did not like, um, he had a really crappy accent that I just really didn't like, I didn't appreciate that. He also was bald and had a short beard in the game, and he had crows uh, instead of ravens in the game. Um, and it also, Odin, he should, in, in real life, in the mythology, in the sources, he should have um, more than often, uh, more often than not, a hood. He definitely has a long beard and gray beard, as it is attested in many sources. And he is also the wisest of all, and in the game, they made him into kind of a dumbass. Um, Odin is the wise one, and he is definitely not a wise one in this game. But it was pretty cool that they made him with one eye, and I thought it was pretty funny that they actually made Odin like struggling to see people in this game like not knowing where to go because he only had one eye he couldn't see well another one um, uh, I saw Fenrir um, 
with the uh, when they binded uh, Fenrir and um, uh, prevented uh, Ragnarok by doing so. Um, I did like that, and, and also uh, Tyr in the game, the, the depiction of him and, and most of the other gods were pretty serious um, and, uh, you know, respectable representations of them besides Odin, of course. Um, the runes in the game, this is probably the biggest. The runes and the language, absolutely ridiculous. They are combining runes, they're combining multiple languages, runic alphabets, um, and, and even Old Norse. We saw it a couple times in the game. Um, I don't know how they managed to do such an absolutely horrible job on that. I mean, the, the, they had millions in the budget and they couldn't even hire someone who speaks Old Norse to help or someone at least who had some knowledge in runes or at least hire an Icelander maybe to do the voiceover so the accents don't sound so horrible in the game. So I really did like that that was probably the worst part of the whole game but the rest of it was pretty entertaining and all right so that's my review looking forward to see more about the tv show and as for the game this one was kind of uh, up and down uh, but yeah we we'll look forward to see what uh, what they make more from this game and what comes from the future but that's all for today